So this is my submission to the Excel hash challenge set by Oz de Soleil. I'll put a link to Oz's video in the description below. And what we have to do is come up with a creative solution that incorporates the following items. A cutout person, two of the items listed here. I've gone for lambda and dynamic arrays. The even function, which I've never used before and will never use again. And everything has to be integrated. So to see my solution, let's go. So my solution is a spare seat assigner. So if we have somebody like Sherry, who has booked two spots, let's say everything always needs to be in an even grouping. Let's say it's a roller coaster and you always need two people together. So Sherry's booked two spots, but Charles comes along and he's only booked one spot. So he needs to be assigned against somebody. And here's a picture of Charles. Whereas Randy also has booked one spot, as has Angela. Um, but Babs has three spots, so she's got a spare. So the even function is basically rounding these up to the ne nearest even number. So I know whether to reassign or there's an empty spot available using a little if statement. Okay, so Ian, um, he needs a spot. James has got a spare spot. Joe is okay, she's got a spot there. So what we can then do is assign people. So I've used a little uh, dynamic array with the filter function here to say who needs to be um, assigned. So these guys do. And then as I assign them, so as I assign, this little drop down is referring to this needs to assign list. So if I assign Charles to Babs, he disappears because I'm using a filter to filter the, out the assigned people. And then I'm going to apply uh, Randy here. And it's no, oh, let's say Joe has got a spare spot opens up. Okay, so she has five. So then we can assign, um, who should we assign? Let's assign Angela. So it's just Ian that's left. So there's the even function being used there. Ian is being used there. My cutouts are all in here in named ranges. Okay, this is Angela. This named cell is Babs, etc. Okay, so I've used those and the Lambda function I've actually used inside these images here. So this one is called unassigned person two, unassigned person, sorry, unassigned person one, two, and three, etc. So this unassigned person three, if I go down here, the lambda I used for that is to say, okay, give me the person number and then use that um, to actually give me the indirect of whoever is named in this unassigned list. So it gives me the first person or the second person or the third person. And that's how that works. I've got limited time to show you this. I'll make this file available. Hopefully you think this is a pretty cool solution. Please vote for it and uh, go over to Oz's website, uh, YouTube channel, and just check it out. Excel hash. Thanks for watching. Please vote.